Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Christian Business Connection radio show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, hallelujah, and be glad in it. Friends, I am rejoicing. I'm excited about Jesus. Oh my goodness, he's great and greatly to be praised. You know, our guests today are simply spectacular. They are fantastic people and I thank God for them. I want to tell you that we've got on the program this morning Apostle Frank Bio. He is our CBC July Author of the Month. The Watchman Sees too. Seeing Beyond What You Can See, A More Sure Word of Prophecy. He's here this morning. We also have on the program Lady Yvette Thomas, who is the founder of the State of the Art Adult Daycare, and we are blessed to have her here because we are talking about the upcoming CBC live show that we're going to do there on Thursday, July 28th from 11 to 1. You see, they're going to have their open house and we're going to be broadcasting live at the open house. You don't want to miss it. You'll hear more about that. We also have on the program Miss Catherine Smith who is the founder of Umami Catering and Events LLC. She's going to give us our new healthy cooking series on the lighter side and she's got some great tips for you today. Also she's going to be at the upcoming next week this coming Friday. The launch for my new ministry Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministry. She's going to be there catering that event as well and we're going to have a good time. We also have on the program this morning Bishop Prentice Thomas, oh a friend of the CBC radio show. He's talking about our new series Faith Matters. Friends, we've got a great show. Can't tell it all. I mean, I, you, you just got to stay tuned, all right? So, I encourage you to go to my website, the thecbcradioshow.com for more information about everything that's going on. Now, when I come back, we're going to be talking with Apostle Frank Bio, our CBC July Author of the Month. I'll be right back. Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open door service. Come and experience the glory of God. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Welcome back to the CBC radio show, The Christian Business Connection. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program this month, we are featuring for our CBC July Author of the Month, Apostle Frank Bio. And you know, his amazing, riveting book is The Watchman Sees, Part 2, Seeing Beyond What You See. A more sure word of prophecy. So I want to welcome to the CBC radio show this morning, Apostle Frank Bio. Good morning, Apostle. Good morning, Evangelist. How are you this last day? All is well. All Praise is God. well. You know, my question is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, no matter what is going on around us. Isn't that right, Apostle? Amen. 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 Yes, yes, yes. We thank him. We thank him. You know, I always say that God gives everybody, each one of us individually, a custom designed blessing package for each day. Hey, what do you think about that? Oh, I agree. I agree. <laughs> and that's why the Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made. That's the reason why we rejoice, because the Word of God says that His blessings are renewed daily. Yes, yes, yes. And I need that renewal, Lord Jesus. I need Amen. the renewal of Him. 
<laughs> amen, amen. Well, you know, we've been talking and featuring your book this month, Apostle, and, you know, it, it would take several, several radio interviews to, to even scratch the surface of what the Lord has downloaded you in this book. Amen. But I want to touch on a couple things with you today. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the, the topics or the subjects that we're going to talk about is the demise of the Republic. Can you mm-hmm. expound on that, Apostle? Yeah, uh, the fact is, well, I've had a lot of people over the years ask me, is the United States part of end-time Bible prophecy or not? And it's a concern, especially when we see the deterioration of America, uh, one time being a world power, now almost becoming a laughing stock of the world community. And the fact is that when we begin to do a comparison in Scripture, uh, we have to look at the book of Daniel that talks about a ten-nation confederacy, and it talks about the different type of empires And nowhere in that book do we ever see that the United States is mentioned in any way, shape, or fashion. So what I did was I decided, well, let me see that if America, and history tells us that no major democracy or republic survives more than 200 years, and America is already into 240 years, I I said, well, we need to find out what causes a republic to fall. And when I did a research, I found out that the, the most, well, when I was going to school, there was a book that was read, which was The Fall of the Roman Empire. And we find that the Rome was never really ever defeated. It deteriorated from inside out. And so when we begin to look at some of the events, and I did a study, and in this book, I outlined 18 different things in which attributed to the demise of the Republic. I'm going to give you one prime example without going to all of them, because our time is limited. One of them, it says, that the reason for it is because the emperor and also the Senate, now I'm talking about the Roman Empire, they could not agree in legislation and making laws to govern the nation. Well, that almost sounds exactly like we have here in the United States. It just seems like, regardless of what political parties are there, it doesn't make what the, what party affiliation they are. It just seems like nobody wants to come to agreement to make a common-sense law. <laughs> and so what's happening is we're beginning to see the deterioration. When we start seeing uh, uh, things are changing in the, even in the core values, it talks about moral decay even on, in the Roman Empire. Those are many of the tr- contributing factors, uh, excessive spending, excessive taxation, lack of employment. And there's 18 different points on that. And I said, you know something? That is almost reading our newspaper. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> okay. So, and then also, the, uh, in part of that, I also bring up that there was a woman, and I forget what her name is, but she was a member of the House of Representatives in, 20, in 1968. She pointed out 25 different things that the United States has been doing which actually makes it synonymous with communism. Mm -hmm. So so what has happened is we've got two major things that are eroding America. We have uh, the moral fibers being decayed. We're seeing political structure. We're seeing a tremendous unrest that is going on, taxation, unemployment. And the list goes on and on. And when I look at that, that is one of the main ingredients of a republic that falls into decay. And that's what we are looking at the United States. You know, Apostle, it it all just goes right in as well with with the title of the book. I Mm -hmm. mean, we have to see beyond... Exactly. what we see you That's know right. it's, it's it's not surface it's it's never been surface but it's far right. from surface right now there's what's going on in so many areas of yep. the united states in our communities mm-hmm. it's it's almost beyond words when you say right. the decay don't you agree oh absolutely see the thing is this paul says we're not wrestling against flesh or blood and i wish people would get this into the spirit it's not white against black or black against white mm-hmm. or red against yellow it, it, it that's not the issue mm-hmm. the fact remains is the bible is Telling us that there are spiritual entities that are agitating, that are creating all of this co- uh, all of this chaos, and unless we be able to see that, like that's the title of the book, seeing beyond what you see. I'm not looking at a man or a woman or anything like that. I'm looking at a spirit that is behind, that is causing people to operate in this manner. You see what I'm saying? 
And, and if I look at it from that perspective, I can get along with my brother and my sister, regardless of our differences, because we're recognizing each other not as the enemy, but b- being that they're being victimized by these demonic activities. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. And, you know, uh, the with the spirit of Antichrist on, mm-hmm. on the earth right now, yes. right now, and this new world system that's going yes. on, I mean, people truly have to see what is going on. It's, exactly. it's, 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 it's not light stuff, Apostle. No, L- let me put it this very quickly. As far as there are three major things, events that we're seeing taking place, even unfolding, and I reveal it in this book, we're seeing the establishment of the false prophet. And already we're seeing a lot of it, mm-hmm. and it, the Bible describes it as a religious political figure, and we see that. And I identify that in the book. So if people want to get it, they want to find out, they need to read the book. Mm-hmm. But the other thing, too, is the false, the Antichrist, is a spirit which is operating anti or emulating Christ, but it's demonic. Yes. And then we're seeing a one world government, and George Bush Sr., back in 1968, he said this, he says, the world is ready for a new world order. So everything is lining itself up. We're seeing beyond what we see in the natural, we're seeing that all of the pieces of the puzzle are being put together, that are now going to be escalating to the time when Jesus is going to return. And this is not a time to be afraid. This is a time of excitement because we can actually say, I'm seeing what people don't see, but I can see it because of the Word. Yes, yes. And all this and so much more is clearly stated in your book. Uh, Apostle, how can folks get a copy of the book? They can contact me by uh, my website. It's bioministries.com. And also, if they can't get it because of any kind of complication, they can send me an email, and that's to bioministries at gmail.com. And would you spell bio for us? Yes, it's B as a boy, A-I-O, ministries at gmail.com. Great, great, great. Now, Apostle, now this yes. is the second book of the Watchmen Seas. Can you touch a little bit on the first book? Because yeah. that's available too, right? Correct. Now, the book book one, basically what it did was, it was talking about more future, in other words, events to take place. This book here is actually revealing and explaining current events. Mm-hmm. So the first one sets the stage, and we're seeing the revealing of what the current events as they are unfolding, and this is confirming everything that we said back in 2014. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it, it's unfolding right in front of us. Truly, Jesus is yes. coming soon, isn't he? Absolutely, absolutely. I think it's important that, you know, some some folks will say, well, I'm not a Bible scholar and, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know about all that stuff. But see, that's why the Lord has given you and, and other uh, uh, servants of God this information so that yes. it can be shared with the kingdom, right? Exactly, exactly. The, the whole theme, Apostle Horton and I, which we co-wrote the book, the basic whole premise is not to be in fear, but to be informed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. Not to be in fear, but Correct. informed. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We've got because to get our. See, we've. It's like we've got to get our head out of the sand. <laughs> exactly. You see, if I'm informed, the the old expression is to be forewarned is to be forearmed. It's not that we're talking about becoming aggressive. It's the fact that I don't have to fear. If I'm informed, I know what's going to take place, and I can operate from a position of strength with Jesus Christ. With his word, I can operate from a position of strength and not a position of weakness. Yes, glory to God. I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle Frank Bio, who is our CBC July Author of the Month, featuring his new book, The Watchman Sees Two: Seeing Beyond What You See, A More Sure Word of Prophecy. Apostle, tell us one more time where we can get a copy of the book. It's on my website. It's bio, B-A-I-O, ministries at uh, gmail.com, or it's bioministries.com. Wonderful. Is there anything else quickly that you'd like to say in closing, Apostle? Just look up your redemption, draweth and I. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. I am looking for a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. This is the victorious church. We are the winners. Amen. Hallelujah. We are the winners. Thank you so much, Apostle Frank Bio, for being a part of the CBC radio show this morning. Thank you, and you be blessed. All right. Friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back.
Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open-door service. Come and experience the glory of God. This is Apostle Bio. I've been hosted on the program CBC, author of the month. I'm really excited to have been with uh, Evangelist Thomas. This is an exciting time. We're introducing our book, which is called The Watchman Sees Book 2, uh, Seeing Beyond What You See. The fact is that this book is not designed to bring fear, but it's to inform and to bless the individuals. It is a topical book. It's not chronological, but yet what it will do is it will inform you as to what is going on, and this is nothing more than a clarification or an explanation of current event. So therefore, be blessed. If you're interested in getting this book, which I know you will, I suggest that you contact me at bioministries.org or bioministries at gmail.com, and you'll have plenty of information on how you can order this book. But be sure you listen to the rest of the month, because we're going to be continuing to talk on this book, The Watchman Sees, book two, and this will be on this program, CBC Radio Show. The Lord bless you and keep you. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be talking this morning with Yvette Thomas, who is the founder of the State of the Art School. We're so excited because we have a special event coming up this month at the Open House on the 28th of July. And it's going to be a grand time. It's going to be a live broadcast of the CBC Radio Show. So I can't wait for that. And I want to introduce to you this morning Miss, Mrs. Yvette Thomas of the State of Art School. Good morning. Good morning, Evangelist Nona. And you know the question I'm going to ask you. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. <laughs> All right, and you will rejoice and, and be yes, glad in it. Yes, I will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get an A. You get a gold star for that. <laughs> well, I tell you, we're just so excited about what the Lord is doing right there in Midtown in St. Louis with the State of the Art School. Isn't he doing a wonderful work? Yes, it is uh, the State of the Art Adult Healthcare Center, the State of the Art School for the Developmentally Disabled, doing business as the State of the Art Adult Healthcare Center. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, I, I was there recently for uh, an event that you had, and it was, oh my goodness, it was such a wonderful turnout. We're expecting the same thing as we broadcast live this month, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So tell us about the basic services that you provide there. Well, the adult daycare is opened Monday through Friday from 8.15 to 4 p.m., 4.15 4. p.m. Mm -hmm. We do provide transportation to and from the center. We have field trips. We have nutritious meals. We do provide a variety of activities to include arts and crafts, table games. We have a ping pong table. We have a pool table. And we are in the process of getting an air hockey table. <laughs> and uh, we do have lots of um, table games to stimulate the mind and um, activities to help prevent memory loss, activities called sensory activities for those who have problems with sensory deficits like numbness, tingling, and um, different uh, conditions that people undergo through mm -hmm. the aging process. Mm -hmm. We have daily devotion, and uh, we do go on field trips once a week. The participants get to choose where they would like to go. You know, what I really love about the services that you provide there that I have witnessed myself is that everything is so well-rounded. It's like a 360. You all really try to take care of the whole man, don't you? We sure do <laughs> because we do have uh, physical exercises daily. Mm -hmm. This is an important part of the plan of activities mm -hmm. because most times elderly people, they need motivation to exercise. Yes. So we exercise to music. And we make it simple but fun. Yes. And, you know, everything we do, it's therapeutic, but we have a fun approach. <laughs> yes, yes. And all the participants that come, 
they become part of a big family. Everybody is concerned about everyone. So yes, it's you like a family. I I have to. I really have to agree with that. I, I, I guess I'll just give a testimony uh, because of the many times that I have been to your facility. It is like a family, and I think it's important that loved. Uh, ones know that, that when they put their uh, their mother, father, uh, child, sibling, aunt, uncle, when they bring them to your facility, they will be treated just like family. And that's important, isn't it? That is so important. And the, I would like for as many people as possible to come out to the open house on July 28th. But you can also come and take a tour of the facility. It's a place that's secure where there's trust mm -hmm. and your loved one will be well cared for. We do um, have a medical model, so we look at all the medications that you take and the diet plan is structured to follow your um, diet plan that was prescribed by your medical doctor mm -hmm. and it's in compliance with your medication. Yes, yes. And I, I also want to say and give a, 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 a plug and hats off to your chefs there because the food mm -hmm. is wholesome. It's delicious. It's, I mean, the, the food is wonderful. <laughs> so <laughs> most definitely uh, you're going to be taken care of in that area too. <laughs> yes. Now, you know, in, in regards to the open house and the live CBC radio show on Thursday, July 28th, we want to let folks know that the open Open house uh, time is actually from 10 to 3. Is that right? 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Oh, okay, 9. Wow. From mm -hmm. 9 to 3. And we will be broadcasting live there from 11 to 1. So, you know, you've conveniently made it where folks can come on out, maybe even on their lunchtime, and get to see firsthand the facility, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we're just about out of time. If I was to ask you, uh, what is one of the your most favorite features, one of your most favorite things about your facility, what would you say? One of the most favorite things about a facility that all the participants look forward to is the food. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the main things. And all of them said they love to come here because they also enjoy the exercises. Yes, yes. So, Yes, and it, and it is such a large facility there. Yes. I mean, you know, you one could of, almost, uh, you know, jog in there, for goodness sake. One second. of the participants said, if I don't come here for anything else, I'm going to come here for the good food. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is truly a labor of love that the Lord placed within you, isn't it? Yes. Yes, and with your medical uh, background, very uh, so many years of medical background and community service, it almost seemed natural for you to do this type of facility in that yes. in the neighborhood. Yes, I've, I've been an occupational therapist for thirty-five years, mm -hmm. so this is so natural. Yes, yes. Well, I just want to uh, congratulate you on the work is done, and we can't wait until uh, the open house and we broadcast live, and we're going to talk with you every week leading up to that, aren't we? Yes. All right. I want to thank you again, First Lady Yvette Thomas of the State of the Art Adult Daycare Center for being a part of the CBC radio show today. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open door service. Come and experience the glory of God.
Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And you know, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be talking this morning with Dr. Tebow, none other than Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry. So excited to have her back on the CBC Radio Show. Don't forget, you've got to stay tuned for this week's healthy living tip after her interview. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Dr. Tebow. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. You know the question, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes. Yes, it is, and I'm glad to be in it. You glad? You know what? When we woke up this morning, and the S O N was still shining. We're doing all right. Oh, yes, we are. You are so right. That is so correct. You know, yes. I just want to. I know I've 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 talked about all the wonderful things you do, and but I need mm-hmm. to start off this morning with a testimony for I found out personally how excellent your services are. Didn't want to use them in the manner that I'm using them now, but glory to God, you were available. Yes. I I had a a bad fall and the pain has just been beyond excruciating to me and you through your I just want to say through through your through your knowledge through your skill through your compassion and through your tenderness uh, there's a great 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 difference in how I'm feeling and that's that's because of Jesus and your chiropractic services yes uh, you have to remember like I try to inform people pain is not the first thing to leave is You know, always the last, but it's the first sign to show up if something's going on in your body. Mm -hmm. So my job is to make you feel comfortable and Mm -hmm. let you understand through the process that we're guiding your body right to the right Mm -hmm. back to the message that it's supposed to go to right Mm -hmm. back to the area it's supposed to lead to. Mm -hmm. And it will take time. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We're going to get you there. Mm -hmm. We're going to get you there. And that's for all the listeners as well. Just because you don't feel it yet or you don't feel that discomfort, Mm -hmm. make sure you get your monthly checkups to make sure that your body is in tune with self. Yes. Because once you start to feel that noise, that alarm button go off, we have to make it go down. And, and it's a process. It's yes. a process. It is a process. And, and I'm I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. I am. I am. And it's just so funny to me. My sister was teasing me. She said, now, I've tried to get you to move quicker to go <laughs> to a physician about other things. And you called her so quick. I said, I was hurting real, <laughs> real bad. And it was just, it's just been a blessing. So I just want to give that testimony yes. uh, that I personally know the services of Dr. Tebow. And yes. I'm I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm just excited to help you, Evangelist Thomas. Not only there, but just I want people to understand, I look at everything. Mm -hmm. I look at everything. Whole body, everything. We take. I take my time with you. Yes. And I really go through everything, and I make sure that you, as a patient, my first concern is your discomfort. Yes. And I make sure of that. And I want people to understand that you might not find other physicians like me, Mm -hmm. but I really take time out to make sure that my people understand what is chiropractic, mm-hmm. how can I flourish from it, mm-hmm. and how I refer you out when it's time to. Yes, yes. yes. And I, I want to tell you, uh, my listeners, chiropractic medicine is more than you think. Let me tell you, it is more than you think. What, what did you say, Dr. Tebow? You're not a massage therapist. No, no ma'am. I'm not a <laughs> massage therapist. I'm not a masseuse. <laughs> I'm not someone that just does telepathic communications over your body and right. send a signal. But we are really dedicated to the spine. Mm-hmm. And we do everything from reading X rays I read scripts I do labs I do all of that the only thing I don't do is prescribe medication yes so what we do is let the body heal itself and we take all the holistic natural approaches Mm -hmm. to help your body do what it needs to do yes because if you're on medication and you're just telling that highway to stop and then once you stop taking it guess what happens that highway starts to creep back up saying I'm in pain I'm in pain (laughs) so we don't want to put makeup on things and mask Mm -hmm. them we want to deal with it so your body knows how to overreact and go, okay, now I see what's going on. Now let me fine tune my body back to yes. where it belongs. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, I'm ma'am. excited about it. Well, look, I want to get to a, a, a thought that came to mind. Here we are in the uh, summer months, and it's you know it, it's so muggy and humid, and many folks may have uh, symptoms of asthma, and they may you know there may be something that you can suggest to help them through this period of the summer, especially for children. Um, especially for children. I just had a child the other day who's two years old come to me. Mm-hmm. Um bad uh, complications with asthma also was a preemie, Mm -hmm. premature baby at birth. And when I tell you that the miraculous of the adjustment helped him so much Mm. with his breathing and difficulty, his mom said that he was able to go to sleep and not have a cough that night. 
no cough. Wow. So we take the approach of not only looking at your spine, but also making sure that you're self-aware that the environmental changes around you, taking mm-hmm. away certain foods, mm-hmm. making sure that you avoid those foods, but also making sure that your nervous system is together with breathing, mm-hmm. the techniques of inhaling and exhaling, make sure, making sure that those things are aligned properly as well mm-hmm. so that your body can balance. Mm-hmm. She said she would have never known that chiropractic dealt with those issues, would have never known that uh, the problem of asthma had to occur for her to come in. Yes. But I just said that's a way of communication of allowing us to see patients. We get patients of all walks of life, um, especially if you're in the St. Louis area. Mm-hmm. St. Louis is top 10 for the worst cities of asthma. Mm. Top 10. More in the grass, all the things, the chemicals, what's in our air is yes. way different from how it is in the South or even on the West Coast. Yeah. And we're overpopulated here with bad things out in the air, and that really can affect the child yes. and their breathing. And asthma is a really, really bad case of that passageway of breathing. Yes. You know, as I said, summer months, well, uh, as parents prepare for their children to return to school, is it? do you think it would be a good idea to also come in and talk with you in preparation for the new school year? Absolutely. And the reason why is because your child does so many things within the year as far as saying, and um, just like if someone's in a car accident, they'll come to you. Your child can hurt himself or mm-hmm. herself. Um, your child can eat certain foods and not even know that they're allergic to it mm-hmm. or have a new reaction of being around other children. Yes. So those things are very important. Have anxiety about being in a new environment. Yes. Having your child come and get chiropractic adjustments, even for our ADHD children, our mm-hmm. autistic children, those things are very important. And we help alleviate some of the anxiety they experience, mm-hmm. some of the pain that they have sitting at the table too long yes. with their backs hunched over yeah. or, you know, just having discomfort and ability and movements. We really do help with those issues. Well, I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry, otherwise known as Dr. Tebow, our resident physician here at the CBC <laughs> radio show. Um, Dr. Bowdry, give us the information on where you're located, contact information, your uh, Instagram, Facebook, all that good okay. stuff. Okay. I am located at 2101 Collier Corporate Parkway, St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. Again, it's 2101 Collier Corporate Parkway, St. Charles, Missouri. My office number is 636 336 8049. 636 336-8049. You can follow me on Facebook at Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry and Instagram and Twitter at The Pocket Doctor. T H E P O C K E T D R. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, uh, another thing I wanted to touch on because I know, well, let me just say this, not like I've always <laughs> known it. I had no idea that babies, okay, you mentioned babies, and of course we know children, but I had no idea that infants need chiropractic adjustments or or to see a chiropractic doctor. I'm, I'm stunned. Yes, chiropractic is important for infants. They deal with colic. They deal with bowel issues. Sometimes they're so constipated and filled up. And even going through the per canal is a process mm-hmm. where their neck is being stretched. So you want to make sure that they're aware of their surroundings, that mm-hmm. they know like, hey, I just had a big event of entering into the world. Mm -hmm. Now I got to make sure that my spine is properly aligned and I don't have these other issues of torticollis of the neck and Mm -hmm. all of those things that deal with a traumatic birth experience. But we want to make it pleasant for them as well and just make them just at peace and natural with their process of being born. Mm -hmm. Because some people will make a business off of being born. Mm -hmm. So we want to make it so Mm -hmm. pleasant for the, we want to make it pleasant for the child, for that infant entering into this world. So it's very important for infants as well. When you use the word pleasant and comfortable, that just takes me back to my personal testimony. (laughs) You can feel the the peacefulness uh, in entering your office. You can feel um, just the comfort and, and, and the compassion. You know, you, you know, you, you, you really hate to say it, but not everybody in the medical profession has compassion. And, you know, you have great compassion for your patients. Yes, I do. I'm happy um, for my patients. I'm blessed for my patients. I'm blessed for my patients. I'm happy that um, I have the patients that I do have around me that allow me to do the things that I have been taught and the hands that I have been blessed with to spread the message of chiropractic. I'm so fortunate for that. And I'm about to cry because I'm just happy to be in a position Mm -hmm. to 
be able to do something differently from the norm, but also spread the message of how can I affect the people and affect the people around me in a positive outcome? Mm-hmm. How can mm-hmm. I do that? Mm-hmm. And how can I not say take a pill and say, hey, here you go, that's okay. Mm-hmm. But how can I change my lifestyle of eating? How can I change my lifestyle of just living? And how can I take better care of myself? Mm-hmm. I find this so important and yes. I'm happy and I'm happy that I am blessed with the patients that I have to come through my door and they trust me. Yes, And they give me all of them to say, help me out. And when it's time to say, hey, refer to the podiatrist, refer here, we're referring. Yes. yes. We're referring. Yes. And we're taking care of it. And I like that. I like that I get a chance to do that. I, I'm, I'm blessed that, well, about that. I, I'm, I'm just going to go further in the testimony as we're almost just about out of time. But, you know, you, 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 you teared up in thinking about how... You know, you have given your all into the mm-hmm. service and to your patients. And I have to say, if, if you remember on that first visit, oh, yes, I, I, I didn't just tear up. I cried uh, because yes, of ma'am. just, you know, just your compassion, just to be someplace comfortable. I was friends. I was in immense, immense pain and just to have someone to care and 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 I think that's the word to sincerely care yeah. about your well-being about making you feel better I'm telling you that, that that's there's no price on that there's yeah. no price on that and as you have been here with the CBC radio show for many months uh, entrusting us to advertise your business and to put the word out and giving us these healthy living tips uh, that you know my listeners have gotten used to I just want to applaud you I just want to say thank you I want to say you know there's a scripture that says don't get weary in well doing for in due season you will reap if you faint not yes, ma'am. and I speak that upon you and that you continue to never lose a heart the heart for the people yes, don't yes, ever ma'am. lose thank the heart so for the much. people yes. for the people so we don't always see things you know when we when we do them but you mm-hmm, gotta mm-hmm. know I'm letting you know through the power of the Holy Spirit that what you're doing your labor is not in vain it's making a difference in God's people and I applaud you and I celebrate you this morning thank on the you. CBC radio thank show doctor you. I applaud you and I celebrate you and I thank you and I'm honored for you to be a part of this program I'm telling y'all this part this ain't scripted here this is real talk because we have to know the the impact that we make in folks' yes, lives. Ma'am. And yes, you've ma'am. made a great impact in thank my life, you. Dr. Baldry. You have as well, too. We thank, thank God. You. We thank yes. you. So we're, we're just about out of yes. time. And we could have been talking about so many other yep. things, but that was real talk, as yes, they say ma'am. right there. Yes, and ma'am. so we're going to be looking forward for your healthy living tip oh, later yes. in the show, yes. right? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Tebow. You. Thank All you. Right, for being a part. And give your contact information one more time. Okay. My Facebook page is Dr. Katrina Tom. And Bowdry. If you have any questions or concerns and you want to reach me, you can reach me on the office line, which is 636 336 8049. 636 336 8049. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at The Pocket Doctor, T H E P O C K E T D R, because I'm the pocket in your doctor, the doctor in your pocket. That's Let's, right. Yeah, the doctor. Change that. The doctor in your pocket. That's right. Thank you so much, Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry, for being on the CBC Radio Show. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a break. And you know what? I tell you, coming up next, we're going to put that healthy living tip. I think you need to hear more from Dr. Tebow. I'll be right back. Good morning, and thanks for listening to Dr. Tebow's Cairo's Healthy Living Tips. Today's topic is dysmenorrhea. Dysmenorrhea is the medical term for painful cramps that occur immediately before or during the menstrual period. Pain is usually felt in the lower stomach or abdomen or back. They can be mild or severe, so what you can do to help during the time of difficult difficult cramps, well, here's some healthy living tips for you. Number one, avoid foods that contain caffeine 
protein and salts. Staying away from these needless foods will be great. These foods cause your pain to worsen because it constricts the blood vessels, causing more tension. Number two, increase the amount of herbs and spices. Increasing the herbs and spices to help your meals will give you the nutritional value and taste without adding the salt value that is not needed. Number three, avoid sugar. Sugar is a strong indicator and inducer of inflammation. You must eliminate all the sugar from your diet for a period of time. Number four, increase your water intake while adding fiber to your diet. Having a normal imbalance is normal and your system must be maintained. Increase the fiber will help build the nutritional value that you need while increasing the water will help it benefit your system with the proper fluids. Last but not least, Number five, chiropractic. There is a very particular chiropractic adjustment protocol that is done to help provide significant relief of symptoms. Making sure you have proper alignment and your great nervous system flow are very effective. Having chiropractic treatments have helped many women, including myself, diminish symptoms that was experienced. So chiropractic rocks. Remember, your health is important and your spinal health is too. So get adjusted because it can make a big difference inside of you. If you have any questions or if you would like to reach me, you can follow me on Facebook at Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry or The Pocket Doctor, T-H-E-P-O-C-K-E-T-D-R or reach me at 636-336-8049. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be starting a new series entitled Faith Matters. We're so blessed to have my friend, Bishop Prentice Thomas, in the studio with us this morning because he's going to take us through these next few weeks on this important topic that's going to make a difference in your life, Faith Matters. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show this morning, Bishop Prentice Thomas. Good morning, Bishop. Well, I'll say God bless America. So good to be here. Oh, my God, with my evangelist, Nona. And if you all would see her here at 1600 looking so lovely in those nails, I'm telling you, glory be to God. It's good to be with you this afternoon. It's good to have you here, Bishop. And, you know, you know my question I'm going to ask you before we go further. (laughs) Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Oh, it absolutely is. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, that is a matter of faith. Mm -hmm. That is a matter of faith because we have to rejoice even in the midst of any type of turbulent time. And we do that by faith. But, you know, I heard that you was talking to uh, a lovely young lady earlier yes. about a couple of things. Uh-huh. Now, you, know, you, you may know her. You may be in relationship with this gorgeous woman. None other than First Lady Yvette Thomas. Oh, my God. What you say? Oh, glory <laughs> be to God. You know, Bishop, she was talking about the upcoming uh-huh. CBC Live. We're going to be mm-hmm. live broadcasting from the state of the art adult mm-hmm. health care oh center. My, my goodness, Glory on July 28th. Now, oh, you'll be Jesus. there, won't you? Of course. <laughs> I hope nobody helped me out of town or any other <laughs> or any other such thing. That's going to be awesome. Yes, Especially yes. it being 1600, I yes, tell you. Yes, we're going to do it oh, live right there at your facility. Uh-huh. And I tell you, God is doing some great things. We just touch on that real quick. Mm-hmm. Some great things right there in Midtown, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely, because that adult daycare and how God has blessed the participants that are coming there Mm -hmm. and uh, even those that have challenges uh, with some of their paperwork and different things, you know, we advocate for them because Mm -hmm. a lot of times they're left to themselves. Yes. And some people may misplace their paperwork, Mm -hmm. different things. And some of them, they sort of go into like a a little panic when they have to to deal with the government stuff and all that. So we actually advocate with our participants and and helping them, you know, with with different things. And so it's going to be really great. Well, we Mm -hmm. heard from her heart this morning, and I Mm -hmm. know that the Lord is going to continue to do some great things. And Mm -hmm. she's going to be talking with us, as you will, leading up Mm -hmm. to July 28th. Mm -hmm. But I want to get right to it so you can take it away, Mm -hmm. Bishop, because in the times that we're living in, Mm -hmm. folks better have a relationship and be truly believing and having faith in God, mm-hmm. not just mm-hmm. faith and faith, but mm-hmm. faith in God. Am I right. right? Absolutely. You know, there is a scripture in the book of St. Matthews, the ninth chapter, the 28th and 29th verse, where uh, there were some blind men that came to Jesus and they 
And he said, what do you want me to do for you? They said, Lord, that we might receive our sight. And he said, according to your faith, be it unto you. He asked him, he said, do you believe that I am able to do this? Notice the word, do you believe that I am able? Now, that word able means, do you believe that I have that I have the resources, that I have the financial ability? My God, do I have the power to get this job done? Mm-hmm. So Jesus is asking us in in regards to our faith, do you believe that I have, man, the skills? When you say the word able, when you look up the definition, it means having the skill, having the resources, having the financial ability, you know, having all of these things in order to get that job done. So Jesus said to those blind men, do you believe? In other words, do you do you trust that I'm able to get this job done? So we have to put our faith when faith matters. Our faith must be not in a thing, but in the person of Jesus. He's resurrected from the dead. So people have to put their faith in the person of Jesus. We're not in a religion. We're in a relationship. So when faith matters, we must place our faith in the person of Jesus. Oh, my God. And your faith, what is faith? A very simple definition is faith is your confident assurance that what you ask God for, you know that you're going to receive it. It's confident assurance that what you ask him for, you know that you're that you have received it. Amen. So it is that it is that that trust in him, confident assurance. Okay, now, so in the midst of storms, in the midst of situations, in the midst of turmoil that's happening uh, in in Missouri and Illinois, all around, amen, you have to have that faith in the person of Jesus Christ in regards to whatever's going on. You know, you have to, you have to have that faith. Oh my God. And it's, and it doesn't have to be big faith. Jesus said, if you have faith, it's a grain of a mustard seed. Oh, evangelist got it right here. Oh, my God. Yeah, her mustard seed um, <laughs> little brochure here. In my pocket In my pocket is a reminder to me of the fact that I am a Christian no matter where I may be. It is, it is not a good luck. This is my mustard seed. Amen. Jesus said, if you have faith as small as a grain of a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from, from here to there. And it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. And you know what? That's what God looks for. Now, I must have seen if you don't have one, it's as, it's as small as the tip of your pen. You, can't, you can hardly see it. But he said that's all it takes is that little mustard seed of, woo, mustard seed of faith. You know, even Rahab the harlot. She exercised faith to save her family in the midst of everything that was getting ready to happen. When you're operating faith evangelists, you have to take the necessary risk in God. We're not talking about foolishness. You know, she hid those spies, and when the people from the king came, she, she said, she said, no, they went, they went that way. You know, she stepped out because she took the necessary risk to save her family. And so it's going to, what am I saying to you? It's going to take using your faith in these troubled times to save your family. My God, Bishop, Mm -hmm. you have said something right there. It's going to take faith, not in faith, not in faith in God, the person Mm -hmm. Jesus. It's going to take faith. Glory. It's just that simple. You know, we have faith in everything else. We have faith in the Mm -hmm. chairs that we're sitting in because we believe Mm -hmm. when we sit down that that chair is not going to break. Okay. Uh Well, Mm -hmm. come on now. If you can believe and have faith in the chair that you can sit secure, surely we can have faith in God. Yes. Yes. See, because your faith is what causes him to move for you. God is not uh, a respecter of person, but he's a respecter of faith. And if you are the one that's exercising faith in him, you know, it's your faith that actually moves God. When Jairus' uh, daughter was dying and it died, it was his it was his faith that caused Jesus to come to their house. Amen. And and while he was on the way, the enemy sent the news, say, you know, why trouble the master any further? Your daughter's dead. Jairus, um, Jesus turned to Jairus and said, fear not, only believe. Glory be to God. He, re, he rebuked that because it was Jairus' faith 
that caused Jesus to come to his house. So in the midst of whatever's happening uh, in America, in the, in the world, in Missouri, Illinois, wherever, Jesus can come to your house. And if he's already in your house asleep, oh, then he can wake up because your faith will work him up. This is not a play on words. This is actual spiritual law. This is spiritual truth. Faith matters, and it matters so much. Faith is also a law. It's not just a spirit, but it is also a law. When Jesus addressed Jairus, amen, it lets us know that it was his faith that matters. It was his faith that caused Jesus to go all the way to his side, to his house. He was on his way. The bad news came. The Bible said Jesus ignored what was said and turned to Jairus and said, fear not, only believe. And he went to his house, put out all of those uh, mourners, professional mourners, and just took his three men with him, and it was Mr. J. Iris and Mrs. J. Iris' faith that caused their daughter to be made whole. Not Jesus' faith. It was their faith in what Jesus could do for them. Yes. See, a lot of people mix it up. No, it's not what you can do. It's what you can believe Jesus to do in your behalf. He's alive. He's not dead. He's alive from the dead. And when you put your faith in him and activate it, he He's going to show up. That's it. He's going to show up. You know, the the the, the term that, that we hear so often, when he shows up, he mm. shows out. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Every time. But you must. Your faith matters. Your faith is so important. I'm going to give you this a little bit before we get off of here. Is that after Peter denied Jesus those three times, amen, the enemy attacked him. Mm -hmm. He could have committed suicide or, or any other thing. But what did Jesus say? He said, he said to Peter, Peter, Satan desired to have you that he might shift you as wheat. He said, but I prayed for you that your faith fail not. Not that you fail not. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. But that your faith fail not. And when you're strengthened, strengthen your, strengthen your brother. Amen. Your faith is so important. It is your faith. That moves Jesus in your direction. It is your faith that matters because it will cause Jesus to move for you at the bank, in your home, at the schools, all of that. I challenge you that when you go into prayer, focus on Jesus, that he is alive from the dead, not a historical something. No, he is alive the resurrected Savior. Focus on Jesus and speak to Jesus and ask Jesus to do this, 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 and this for you. And you seal your faith, you seal it with saying in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because when we pray and we say in the name of Jesus, that guarantees results. Hallelujah. A guarantees results. <laughs> now, now, you done said something up in here today, Bishop. Now, I want to take this Faith Matters series over yes. the next few weeks. Yes. You, can, can, you, can you give me another one uh, next week? Yes, absolutely. Amen. We'll Amen. just continue where, where we'll we are right here. We'll continue from here. Thank you so much, Bishop Prentice mm -hmm. Thomas, for being a part of the CBC oh, radio show today. Oh, I just love being with my evangelist, Nona, my God, and speaking to the people over the air in the name of Jesus. In Thank the you name so of much. Jesus. All right, my friends, mm -hmm. we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning. This is Catherine Smith with Umami Catering and Events, back with yet another healthy cooking tip. This week, our On the Lighter Side focus is heart health and how to prepare meals that will enable you to cut back on unhealthy fats without compromising the flavor. So if you're dealing with some form of heart disease or simply trying to lower your risk, try these tips in preparing your meals. Both you and your heart will be glad you did. First, you want to limit saturated fats and trans fats by selecting lean cuts of beef and pork while cutting back on those processed meats that are high in saturated fat, such as hot dogs, salami, and bacon. Eat fatty fish regularly, such as salmon and trout, trying different ways of preparing it, such as baking, broiling, and grilling to add variety. This is a great source of omega-3s. Cook with fresh vegetables as much as possible, but if necessary, choose frozen or low-sodium veggies. Quickly steam or saute them to preserve their nutrients. When sautéing foods, select oils that provide omega-3 fatty acids, such as canola, flaxseed, or soybean oil. Incorporate sources of protein in your dishes as well, such as soybeans, pinto beans, lentils, and nuts. And here's the big one, reducing your salt intake. 
The best way to control the amount of salt in your meals is to prepare your foods at home. This allows you to cut at least half the salt from most of the recipes. And to avoid adding additional salt to your food at the table, season foods with herbs, spices, garlic, onions, peppers, and even lemon or lime juice to add flavor. These are great substitutions for salt that you will enjoy. These are small yet beneficial adjustments to help jumpstart your heart health with cooking tips on the lighter side. This is Catherine Smith of Umami Catering and Events. For additional information or for catering at its finest, we can be reached via email at umamicatering at aol.com. That's U-M-A-M-I-C-A-T-E-R-I-N-G at aol.com. Or call us at 314-412-4119. Again, that number is 314-412-4119. Until next time, God bless. Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open-door service. Come and experience the glory of God. This is Apostle Bio. I've been hosted on the program CBC, author of the month. I'm really excited to have been with uh, Evangelist Thomas. This is an exciting time. We're introducing our book, which is called The Watchman Sees Book 2, uh, Seeing Beyond What You See. The fact is that this book is not designed to bring fear, but it's to inform and to bless the individuals. It is a topical book. It's not chronological, but yet what it will do is it will inform you as to what is going on, and this is nothing more than a clarification or an explanation of current event. So therefore, be blessed. If you're interested in getting this book, which I know you will, I suggest that you contact me at bioministries.org or bioministries at gmail.com, and you'll have plenty of information on how you can order this book. But be sure you listen to the rest of the month, because we're going to be continuing to talk on this book, The Watchman Sees, book two, and this will be on this program, CBC radio show. The Lord bless you and keep you. Friends, haven't we had a phenomenal show today? I just thank God for all that he is doing in the CBC Christian Business Connection radio show. Thank you so much, Apostle Frank Bio. Uh, talking about your book, you are our featured July author of the month. Wonderful, wonderful book. Oh, my goodness. Everybody, get a copy of The Watchman Sees, too. And then I just want to thank First Lady Yvette Thomas. I am so excited that the CBC radio show is going to be broadcasting from the Open House live on Thursday, July 28th. It's going to be great. The Open House is from 9 a.m. to 3, and I'll be there broadcasting from 11 to 1. You want to come by, stop by, come see me. Come check out the State of the Art Adult Daycare Center. And then I want to say thank you so much to Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry. You know, you heard, hopefully, my testimony about her services, about the compassion that she works with her patients, and I am just, I can't say enough about this woman. She's skilled. She's compassionate. She's wonderful. If you need a chiropractor, let me tell you, you do because chiropractic medicine is not just about a car accident. She can help you. I'm telling you, give Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry a call. I also want to thank this morning for being on the CBC radio show, Miss Catherine Smith of Umami Catering and Events LLC. I thank God for her. You know, this new healthy cooking series on the lighter side is just a blessing. She's doing a fantastic job. Now, you're going to get to meet her because she will be catering uh, for the reception after the Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministry Service coming up this Friday, July 15th. Doors opening at 630. Service is going to start at 7 at the Word at Shaw. The Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw Avenue which is right across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. I sure hope that you come on out and support me as the Lord goes forth with our team in this new ministry. It is going to be a blessing. Let me tell you, the glory of God
God will be in the house. I don't say that lightly. I'm telling you, the Shekinah glory of God is going to fall in that house. You want to make sure that you are there. We've had just a fantastic time here on the CBC radio show. I want to encourage all ladies, give me a call at 314-270-2225 for more information about our women's retreat that's going to be held October 14th through the 16th. This is being hosted by myself. It's going to be great. This is for women who are ready to go, who are ready to go to the next level in Christ Jesus, not only spiritually, mentally, I'm telling you, give me a call so you can get more information about this retreat. You don't want to miss it. And you can go to my website, thecbcradioshow.com for more information about everything. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. Thank you so much. It was brought to you by Granny V's Bath and Beauty Products. Granny V Bath and Beauty Products are simply phenomenal. They're taking over St. Louis. So you can give them a call at 314-323-1877 to get more information about Granny V. Thank you so much for listening to the CBC Radio Show. As always, in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world.